Hi Capricorn, this is your April monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we will uh, get you an advice for the whole month of April. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love uh, this month. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Devil, with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We also have Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and we have Leo on the table. Um, I usually go with a King or a Queen if we're on the post show up, so we got this King of Pentacles right there in the middle, clarifying the three of cups. I don't think that's you Capricorn unless you're dealing with another Capricorn but uh, yeah the King of Pentacles could be a, a fellow earth sign uh, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. If they're not an earth sign it could be somebody who is very um, down to earth <laughs> I guess. It could be an entrepreneur or somebody who works for a financial institution. We have you in the spread as well Capricorn don't worry. The devil, the first card in the potential outcome that's you. That's your major iconic card, right? But we'll get to that in just a second. So, somehow trouble is going to be involved here. This is either how you meet this person or you could be invited to go on some kind of a trip either with this person after the two of you get acquainted or perhaps you're tr they will invite you as a part of a group, okay? And uh, if this person is um, a Taurus, it could be their birthday coming up at the end of April, but I think you will meet before then. Uh, say you guys meet uh, in the first decade or in the middle of um, April, and then it's their birthday coming up, so I think you're going to go travel for their birthday together with them. Right? Because um, uh, the Three of Cups in the middle comes right after travel, right? The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration, it's a card of a reunion, it's a card of a, some kind of an event, party, gathering of some sort. You get the idea, right? Um, the Page of Cups, the first card that came out. Um, this is a, a card of invitation or this is somebody approaching you, reaching out to you, um, and uh, they're being super nice to you, right? The Page of Cups to me personally is the nicest page out of all four pages. I don't mean to belittle or insult the other pages, but the, you know, the Page of Cups is all about emotions. This usually translates into flowers, a lot of compliments, them being super nice to you. And here comes trouble. The Knight of Swords, qualified by the Eight of Wands. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but those two cards are definitely travel cards. Definitely. Or it's somehow is associated with transportation. Alright, the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights, and the Eight of Wands clarifying that is one of the fastest cards in the deck. Right, so one fast card clarifying the other fast card, travel. Somehow, travel is a part of this equation. <laughs> Alright, and um, yeah, the rest is history, right? Um, we have. Uh, the Devil with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in the potential outcome. Like I said, the Devil is your major Arcana card, that's you, and it's always a good sign to have your major Arcana card in your own reading. It always says the Ace of Swords right next to you <coughs> is a card of a clarity. It's a card of uh, the answer yes. It's a card of a new beginning. And uh, with the Ace of Swords, nobody's dragging their feet. With the Ace of Swords, nobody is playing or fooling around, right? It's going to be. Um, very straightforward, very direct, and um, I think both of you will know that uh, the two of you should give it a shot. Not just a shot, but the two of you should have a lot in common, and the two of you should spend the rest of their lives together. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is what I'm talking about. Spending the rest of your lives together. It's a card of a commitment, marriage. It's a card of uh, when people buy real estate together. It's a rock-solid commitment or marriage, as a matter of fact. All right, that's what the uh, King of Pentacles provides. Um, and uh, the Sun, um, on the bottom of the deck could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is also a card of clarity, just like the Ace of Swords. And besides that, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. With the Sun, we always feel loved, we always feel cherished, we always feel like we're on top of the world, we always feel like it just uh, it's a success story. Okay, so yeah. Again, travel is somehow involved here. Um, 
I don't know at exactly which point it will come in. I don't, I'm not sure about the sequence of events, but uh, you're definitely celebrating something together with this person. And then at some point, you two will it will become apparent very quickly to the two of you that the two of you belong together. I see the two of you, you know, hitting the ground running, like no hesitation. I think you guys will definitely feel like the two of you belong together. So um, yeah, it will happen quick. All right, so no extended for you. It'll be a waste of time, Capricorn. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this part is for you. We have the Seven of Cups, clarified by Death. Uh, we have Temperance, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Hierophant and the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus. But uh, you already know whom you're dealing with. What's interesting about this reading is that there's two ending cards two ending cards on the table, death and the world. But I don't think your relationship or your marriage is coming to an end. I think quite the opposite. I think you guys are taking it to the next level or it's like an, the next step. All right. Some of you could be relocating from, from one place to another. Um, others of you could be moving in together, which also involves relocation. <laughs> Right? Or, you know, whatever the natural next step is in your connection, in your relationship or marriage, that's what's taking place. All right? Uh, the world on the bottom of the deck is my happy end card. This is when one ch chapter of your life comes to an end and a new happy or happier chapter of your life is about to begin. The Seven of Cups, the first kind of might is clarified by death. The Seven of Cups is either a card of uncertainty and clarity or it's a card of a multiple choice. Okay, so for some of you, perhaps you are not sure if this is ever going to go anywhere, if you guys are going to ever make it official, formal, if you're ever going to get married or move in together. All of that is coming to an end because now you will be clear that yes, you guys are moving forward. For others of you with the Seven of Cups, I, you could be looking at different locations where you want to move or where you want to move into. Okay, and uh, all of this is again coming to an end with the Death card. So you're no longer uncertain or unclear what's what happens next between the two of you or you will find a, a house or you'll find a new place a new apartment what have you right temperance the next card over is either a Sagittarius or deal but temperance is a card of patience all right and uh, yeah patience pays off the six of swords clarifying it again is a card of moving forward or a card of relocation and uh, the Hierophant right next to the deck is either a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is also part of, you know, something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So um, if you are already married, then uh, it will stay, you will stay married, or if you're not married yet, if you're not in an official relationship, then uh, it will become official. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, uh, this month. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Swords. And we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, Capricorn, what, what can I say? <laughs> there is no court cards here. I clarified twice. I didn't want to clarify the Two of Swords. Um, but there is no court cards here. There is no major account of cards here either. There is no offers on the table. None. Zero. At the same time, we have a lot of uh, low vibrational energy cards. A lot of they they're all that way. <laughs> and um, I don't think if even it's either somebody is uh, just going nuts or somebody is in a very sad place. I don't think that's you. Or perhaps if they do make uh, an offer, uh, you are not taking them back. And they're going to crawl back to where they came from. You know, it's like whenever I see a spread like this, I simply ask my, myself a, a question. What do we not have here? Right? We don't have any love. We don't have any offers, like I said. We don't have any commitment on marriage cards. What we do have, like I said, is just a, a bunch of low energy cards. Right? So I don't think you're taking them back. Or you may not even hear from them. Okay? Um, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think you're in the space of taking anybody back, as a matter of fact. The Two of Swords in the middle, I think this is you just saying no. I don't want to go back to the past. Uh, 
that's what perhaps your um, approach is this month. You're not taking anybody from your past. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Uh, this month, Capricorn, we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, classified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands, classified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Three of Wands, classified by the Fool, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is one interesting spread, Capricorn. Uh, you will have an offer coming your way, but uh, your initial reaction, your initial response is going to be like, um, I'd rather not. You're not rejecting it, but you're like very suspicious about this. All right, but then you'll change your mind and uh, you'll go for it, or they will talk you into it. <laughs> I do see you eventually moving forward with it, right? Um, yeah. So here, here's what we have. We have uh, the Page of Pentacles classified by the Three of Pentacles. This is the offer coming your way. For some of you, it could be a side gig, or it could be like a consulting gig, and. Um, um, your reaction is in the middle. The nine of wands classified by the eight of swords. The nine of wands is a card of somebody who is suspicious, somebody who is like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Um, the eight of swords classifying it is a card of somebody who is overthinking Capricorn, and I think that's what's happening here. You're simply overthinking, right? The ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of uh, a pile of cash. <laughs> it's a card of financial abundance. It's also a card of real estate. All right, then to Right next to the deck, we have the three of ones classified by the, the the fool. This is you actually making up your mind to give it a shot, uh, to give it a shot, yeah, to give it a chance. The uh, the fool clarifying the three of ones could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the fool is going for it. It's a card of taking a leap of faith, taking that risk. Perhaps whatever they're offering you is a bit risky, or perhaps you haven't done this in the past. But and that's why you're not sure about this. But eventually, I think you will agree to give it a shot. All right, perhaps um, they will promise you a lot of money. Or perhaps uh, now that you're going to be making that extra cash, now you can afford something else. Okay, but I do see you eventually going for it. All right, cool. Here's the advice or a uh, word of wisdom for you, Capricorn, for the whole month of April. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This really reminds me of the first spread, the new love spread. In that spread, we had we also had the Knight of Swords and uh, the Ace of Swords, right? Um, so yeah, the advice for you, I guess, is to move forward with that person or to go to whatever wherever it is they're inviting you to go. Don't go anywhere with strangers, <laughs> obviously. But um, yeah, like I said during the first spread, travel is somehow part of that equation, and the Knight of Swords is that. A travel or a trip or moving forward really quickly, right? All of this is because it will be a golden opportunity with, for you. The Ace of Pentacles right next to the deck is a golden opportunity, okay? The Ace of Swords uh, on the bottom of the deck is uh, a card of clarity. It's uh, somebody who is being very decisive, somebody who says, yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, we're going to have this new beginning. And uh, the Page of Pentacles, the first card that came out, it's very similar to the um, uh, Page of Cups that we had in the first spread. Pretty much the same energy when it, when it comes to this particular situation. So the advice for you is to move forward with that person. Or go to some kind of an event or party or gathering. Uh, perhaps your friends wants you to go somewhere with them, right? And one of the people uh, going in that group is going to be the person you're going to be getting uh, this show off the off the ground i guess all right so yeah that's what i have for you capricorn for this reading for this month if this video resonates with you please like it please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that capricorn have an amazing april